All right, guys, so I stumbled across this pretty interesting article, and if this happens in GTA 5, we're in big trouble. So I saw this article titled, Grand Theft Auto Holds the Key to Self-Driving Revolution in Five Years. And this is a pretty interesting article I found, and I'll leave a link to it in the description. But essentially, scientists say that cars, taxis, and buses could be ditched for self-driving machines, incorporating technology already used in computer games such as Grand Theft Auto V. Okay, that is incredibly scary. So there's two articles I'll leave on this. The first one is pretty interesting, as it comes from the Edinburgh University School of Informatics, which is actually kind of interesting because Edinburgh, Scotland is the same place which Rockstar's home is. That's where their like main office is located. So that right there is pretty interesting. Essentially, scientists are working on trying to make self-driving cars the basic technology in the next two to five years. But what's scary is the way they're doing that. They literally state, we use simulations, the same technology that is behind Grand Theft Auto V, could be used to train self-driving cars. All right, so when I saw that article, I wanted to do a little bit more research, and it turns out that this is something that uh, I guess car manufacturers and scientists have been basically using for the last year or so. They've been using GTA 5 and its enormous simulated environments for potential for exploring the quest of self-driving vehicles. Now the science behind this kind of goes over my head, but what I'm gonna do right now is show you guys a video of someone sort of using technology in GTA 5 to, I guess, establish baselines for cars that are gonna be driving themselves. They're using NPCs to sort of simulate the data. You can see that on the left side of the screen. So I think that this is so strange. Now, according to people who are using this technology, they state GTA 5 gives researchers access to a rich, diverse world for testing and developing AI. Its island setting is almost one-fifth the size of Los Angeles, giving access to a broad range of scenarios to test systems. Add to that the 257 different vehicles, seven types of bicycles, and 14 types of weather types. And it's possible to explore a huge number of permutations using a single simulation. GTA 5's 49 square mile island of San Andreas gives researchers the ability to train AI agents across bustling metropolitan areas, winding mountain passes, flat deserts, and freeways. Now, when I saw this, I was like, okay, that makes sense, but what happens when one of your cars accidentally runs across a gang war or an event where someone's getting robbed and then they get dragged out of their car? You know, what happens there? There's so many elements of GTA 5 that isn't just, you know, peaceful driving. And the scientists that are researching this data state they have modified the behavior of people within GTA 5 to be non-violent. So in other words, if you get a fender bender, no one's going to call the police on you or no one's going to end up pulling out a gun and trying to shoot you. Basically, I just think this is incredibly fascinating that a video game designed for entertainment is being used by researchers that could save millions of dollars um, and could ultimately be the reason why we have self-driving car technology in the future. However, I think the biggest issue here is that people are actually using GTA 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online as a simulation for this. Have they seen some of the NPC drivers actually drive in-game? I mean, the background gameplay you guys are seeing right now is some import-export footage, and literally the NPCs try and run you off the road. Like, they will break the law in every way, shape, and form. And even in regular Grand Theft Auto V, like in single player, you see NPCs breaking the law all the time or not doing normal driving techniques. So I'm not exactly too sure what they think they're going to be getting out of GTA V that makes them feel so secure about their AI simulations. I don't know. To me, that sounds scary. This sounds like a Skynet situation right here. Like the AI that's going to be in self-driving cars is learning from GTA 5. And then one day everything's going to go haywire. Everything's going to go wrong. And, you know, one thing is going to trigger a series of events where all the cars start to freak out on the road and the humans have no control anymore. And it just creates this massive disaster. That's the sort of thing that I think could actually occur. So I'd love to pass this question off to you guys. And although not everyone might not be driving right now, I, I think the driving age in the US is still 16. In other parts of the world, it might actually be 18 or even older. So some of you guys might not even be driving right now, but what do you think of this? 
people using GTA 5 as legitimate research and for simulating AI to, in order to be technology for self-driving cars of the future. I mean, we're already starting to see a little bit of that today, but would you trust GTA 5 to train cars that you would sit behind and sit in in real life road simulations? I think the answer is no. I've played enough GTA 5 to know just how bad those NPC drivers can be at times, and I don't want them coming anywhere near our real life vehicles and what we have to experience on the road. But like I said, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments section down below. Let me know what you think of this. As always, I'll be sure to leave links to both the articles I used in the description. So if you want to check them out for yourself, you can. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.